Hey everybody, Shane here, Mason Boys Outdoors. And today we're out here on Oxbow Lake and we're setting out some jug lines and we're hoping to catch something big. We want to catch a, either a big catfish. Or a big bass. Or, well, we can't catch a big bass on a jug line. But we, oh, we're alligator. No, we can't catch an alligator either, Si. Gotta be legal. But what if we accidentally catch it out? Then we have to release him on purpose, <laughs> very carefully. <laughs> but the best part of the day already is Amos said. I'm starting to like fishing. That's pretty fun, big step. And so daddy went and bought him a Doc Demon uh, reel, got him a worm under a cork, and we're gonna, we're gonna catch something. Now let's get after it. We just got all of our jugs out. Sala said he's seen one going back behind the tree over here, so we're gonna go over there and see what we got on it. You ready, Sa? Si? Yeah. All right, Sala, si, it's all yours. No, Dad, I can't reach that far. Well, take the trolling motor and get us over there. No, you do that. I don't want to run. I got a camera in one hand and a light in the other. Oh yeah, there's a fish on that. It's something on it, isn't it? All right, get on the tip of the boat. Why can't I grab one? Wait a minute. What is it, sir? Something big. Oh, that is over there. It's, it goes that way. Yep. Yeah, all right. Maybe an alligator, so y'all back up. Okay, I'll go. All right, let's see where this thing's Dad, going. Dad, when you get an iron pond, can I get it? Uh-huh. Okay. Sorry, you on the... Yeah, it goes, goes under that. It goes up under that grass over there. Definitely a turtle, guys. I'm fixing to go around this tree right here, and then we're going to pull this turtle out. Uh, we got the line. We got the turtle. No, I don't see him yet. Is it a long line? Oh, he's moving. Oh, yeah. He's moving. I feel him. You see all that grass coming up? Yeah. That could be a one giant turtle. Here he comes, sir. Here he comes. Oh, what is it? Are you kidding me? That's a bowfin. A big old bowfin. Hey, it's another bowfin. Yeah. That Boy, counts at mine. That... I sure thought it was a turtle going under that grass. Yeah. First I thought that was a redfish because the bowfin's head, head looks like redfish. And I was like, it's a redfish. I was like, no, it can't be. Then I was like, it's a bowfin. Come on. It's about a four pounder. Yeah, you're probably right. Good job, man. That was fun, huh? You definitely spotted that bottle moving a long time ago. Oh, yeah. It got under that grass. We thought it was a big turtle. <laughs> he fooled us, didn't he? Hey, All right, who's going to get this jug? Me, both of us. All right. All right, let it go, Si. Let Amos have it. Pull it up. Pull it up, bud. Can't make his mind. Oh, it's a gar. Oh, you got a gar. Get him in. I got my first fish. My second fish. Yay. Good bud, gar. Good job, bud. Is this a wild bird? Wow! Is it alive in like Yeah, alive. it's alive. Ow! It bit me. It's all in there and... Amos, <laughs> Amos is getting fish slapped. <laughs> Tell us what we got here, guys. Gar. Spotted oh. gar. Got a spotted gar. Amos' his first gar. How about that? Oh. And he's a lively one. Oh. We got us a spotted gar. We got us a big grinnel. He's definitely going to be a swamp catch cleaning cook. Ooh. We're gonna make some more gar balls and we might and mom's gonna get some this time yeah mama's gonna have her own plate we're also gonna try to make balls out of the grinnel also Grinnel balls i don't know how well that'll work ah oh you bit me oh god that's what you gotta be aware of that's why i wear <laughs> that fish bit me guys it what it bit my foot too if you've ever been bitten by a gar, it hurts. Oh, yeah. 
like that bit right there probably looks the same on the bottom side hold him up si. i don't want to hold him <laughs> i don't blame you look at the teeth on this rascal oh my goodness that joke has got yeah. a million teeth about four of them went in my foot just now this car has a taste for blood so we're See, we're I about to cut the line and put them in the live well and be done with them i'm swimming to it <laughs> Sala said he thought one was on this one. I'm scuba diving. Oh, you got something on it, Sai? Oh, it's a shadow cat. Oh, That's a, a bow another bow fin. Oh, <laughs> <jump. laughs> Get him in, bud. I got another. I got another bow fin. That one's name is Floppy. Floppy? All right. Another Floppy. You got to throw him in. Throw him in, stick it all. You about to lose him, Sai. No, he ain't. He's back here. Boy, you better get that thing in here. There's more. Woo, that's a whopper there. Good job, Si. Well, not that good of a job. It took you forever to get that thing in the boat. It was hurting. The water was hurting my hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, look. Oh! He barely fish wrapped me. Oh, that's a good bow fin, son. Take a picture of me and name it. All right, both of y'all look at it. This <laughs> rock me. We I almost got a picture. He, I love these kind of fish. They really fight hard. I Was it fun, me. son? Oh, yeah. I like getting fish right. <laughs> All right. I like Throw them in the cooler. Y'all don't get your hands wrapped up. Why not? Why not? Don't wrap your hands. No. No, there's not a fish on it. All right. No mm -hmm. hook. I mean, mm -hmm. no bait. Rebait it and throw it back out there, sir. Okay. Is that done? Perfect, son. Throw it back out there. Right. Perfect, son. Me and the boys are back at the lake, and we are about to go get the jugs. What's the matter, Silas? Feet hurt. Your feet hurt? You should have brought you crops. We got home last night about 11.30, and Amos was so tired. He, <laughs> he said, that? Daddy, That's I know we got to wake up yeah. early. Dad. And I know I'm not going to be able to wake up, so you're going to have to get me up. <laughs> I'm going to have both hands full now that Amos is wanting to go fishing with us every time. I wouldn't have it any other way. What do y'all think's on these jugs? Big catfish and big guard and big bowfin. As long as it's something big, I'm good. Oh, yeah. All right, boys. Here comes our first jug. Y'all think y'all got one on this one? Yes. Yeah. Can you grab it? Got it. All right, pull Wait, it up. There's something on there. No, there's not. Yeah, pull it in, son. If y'all look at this, it bit the hook in half. You know what? I, I bet that was a big old that. turtle. But before we go to the next one, let's organize these. Get these put in the box. Okay. Cut you want to help me do these, son? Sure. Dad. You want to wrap it up where it goes on that crease in that Gatorade bottle, okay? I know. And that Gatorade bottle is going to act just like a spool. When you throw it out there, it'll just spool straight down. We might have something on this one, Sai. Probably. I think I've seen it twitch. Dad! Oh, yep. Yeah. There's something on here. No, we're going to go. Oh, nope. There's something on here. Something big on here. Something big? Yep. Something big. Was it mine? Hold on. You need me to get it? No, I can get it. Hold on, hold on. Constant, I easy don't. pressure. Hold on, don't rub it against the boat. You'll cut the line. Okay. There's a lot of bubbles. Ooh. Maybe a turtle. Maybe. Hold on, hold on. Let me see it. Doesn't feel like it, though. Oh, he broke us off. Dead gummit. It had something on it when we were coming up on it. I seen the jug just twitch like that. So something had to be on it. And then it, it, it just felt like a stump down there. 
and then it just cut right in half. I think it's a, it's probably a big turtle, but I like big turtles. So that one was on the jug with the weakest line too. Just, just our bad luck. This is what we got on this one right here. Big old loggerhead snapping turtle. Oh, no. All right guys, we already seen what's on this one. We got a loggerhead snapping turtle. You can only keep one per year. The carapace, the top of the shell has to be 24 inches long. I'm not sure if this one's gonna make 24 inches long because that, that's, that's pretty long. But we'll, we'll get them in the boat and measure them and see. All right, this turtle has us up under something, but it is over here on this side. So I'm gonna get the gas. And I'm gonna go on the other side the and try to, try to hook the line. The, the gas. Looks like, we have the gas? <laughs> it's deep. Yeah, it's pretty deep right here. He's got him a pretty good little hole. All right, we got the fishing line. And here comes the turtle up. Don't let it get off. Don't let the. Well, I can't control everything, so. Oh, you hear him hissing? No. I hear him hissing. Sorry about the back here. First up, it look, really looks like a stump. I, I don't think he's a legal turtle, but we're going to get him up here and show him to you. All right, you grab him right behind the head on the shell, and then on the back side of, of the shell also. And if you hold him like that, he can't bite you. If you're a passenger in the boat, they can. Amos, you want to come look at the turtle? No. I no. Can I touch him? Yeah, you can touch him. Whoa. That's yeah. a trip. That was it. <laughs> uh, alligator snapping turtle lives its entire life underwater. So that's why all this moss is even on its head. And they have the uh, perfect, they are built perfectly for fishing. They Are have they? a little attachment on there. Oh, he's trying to get me. Dad? That's why you keep your hand right on its back like that right there. Dad? Right. Is it an alligator snapping turtle? Yeah, it's an alligator snapping turtle. What? Uh, you said it's a log something turtle. Snapping turtle. I may have said it was a loggerhead snapping turtle. Oh, yeah, you said, did say it was a loggerhead. Let's see how long it is. All right. He is 16 inches long. They have to be at least that big. They get that big? Yep, they get they get bigger than that. Females usually don't get over 20 inches. So in Mississippi, you can only keep one a year, and it has to be 24 inches. So the state of Mississippi, the game wardens, made a good decision in uh, setting that limit so that we only catch males. We don't want to harvest the females because it takes so long for turtles to reproduce. I just know they have tails. Turtles have tails. Yeah, they have tails. Look, he's trying to get me. He's pulling that. Hold on, buddy. Is he strong? He is strong. What if he... Make sure he's not tangling up in this line. He's pooping. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, he is pooping. Is he pooping on me? Yeah, he's pooping. Dad. Yeah. He'll reach around and snap. I want to. I want to take a picture. I'll take a picture if you want okay, to. Okay, hurry. All right, we're releasing the turtle. Oh, and he's trying to get my hand. Look at it. Oh uh, no! Don't get me. All right, here we go, guys. There it Down goes. into the depths. That was super cool, wasn't it, guys? Yeah. What did you think about the turtle, Amos? It made me sweat. I, I didn't want to go up there was because I didn't want to get bit. Yeah, you didn't want to get bit? Really Daddy wouldn't have let you get bit. I really wanted to touch his tail. Yeah? Well, you touched the shell, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's a tail. There's yeah. bubbles. Yeah. He's that was super bubbles. cool. He's still blowing bubbles, Dad. Yeah. He's making a bubble trail. Sauce, this, this one here has been pulled down a little bit. I, I know. We just pulled this jug out of the water. Let me show you the hook on it. Look at the hook. You see how it's bent like that? I bet that's from a turtle's beak. He bit down on it and bent it like that. 
I bet that's exactly what it was. We finished up getting all the jugs and we're missing one. So now no doubt something could have pulled it under the grass or it could have got hung up underwater, something like that. And we'll never find it. But we're gonna make a loop around, see if we can't see it. And because that's the right thing to do. There you are, Amos. You just appeared out of my armpit. <laughs> we searched for the last jug, couldn't find it. It's lost forever. But we're about to head to the house now. We're gonna make gar balls out of the gar, and I'm gonna try to make balls out of the uh, bow fin also. And who knows how it's gonna turn out. So let's go to the house and try it out. My bow fin. But no more. Hey, what was y'all's oh, favorite wow. part about fishing? Your favorite part? What what part comes to your when, mind first? When, when we saw the snapping pole, when we saw all of the alligators. The alligators and the big turtle. You like that big turtle? What's your favorite part, Dad? Probably the alligator snapping turtle. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool, man. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Here's our fish. We caught. We got two grinnell and a gar, and an amos. Uh, I'm going to make some gar balls, and I'm going to attempt to make some bowfin balls. Good and Silas just come down from the dock and caught him a good croaker there, bud. Yeah. I'm wearing the beach mom shirt today. Stay bummy. What's that, Amos? Grease is getting up to 350. Let's drop some in. All right, we're pulling the gar balls out. Also dropped a couple of bowfin balls in here. It's in because I'm running out of time and I need them to be done. The bowfin balls are gonna be the smaller ones there. They look delicious. I'm gonna start off with a bowfin ball cause we know that the gar balls are delicious. I don't like it one bit. Uh-uh. The bowfin? <laughs> yeah. Don't ever make both in balls. That was disgusting. Oh, I need something to drink. Oh, I was so hoping that it's gonna be good. Never, never make that. Never make balls. Never make both in balls. It is disgusting. I need something else to drink. That's gross flavor. <laughs> Take some cold coffee. <sighs> that was gross. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to eat a gar ball. Make sure I didn't mess everything up. Gar balls are good. They, um, they're a little, didn't cook them all the way through. The gar balls were a little big. If you have any pointers on cooking large gar balls all the way through, put it down in the comments. Let me know. I cooked the smaller ones the other day. They were perfect. These may be a little mushy on the inside, but they're still really good. No, that's good. I do prefer that you take the membrane out, just like Andrew Guggen did on backwater fishing. But I tried it this way because it's saying Kendall, uh, Kendall Frederick uh, on his YouTube channel. Try it, tried it, and um, I mean, it's still good. And it's a lot less time. You don't have to sit down and take all the membrane out. But gar balls are delicious. Both end balls are disgusting. Don't ever eat that. But thank you guys for watching. Always remember, catch a mess, leave the rest. God bless you. We'll see you on the next video. And he just walks in with a croaker. Oh, he's still croaking, bud. I know it was a massive croaker. It is a massive croaker. Good job. Take it outside. Go throw him back in the bayou. He's a big one. He's a big one. Go throw him back in the bayou. You can catch him again. Wait, you're here, bud? Yeah. Okay. Go throw him in the bayou, bud.
Yes. Tell me, this is my favorite fish. No, it's not. Oh. Well, say, I love these kind of fish. I love these kind of fish. They fight so hard. They do actually fight really hard, Dad.